So, uh, again, I'm going to uh, prep my station. So I've got my wall, I've got loads of space around it, I've got my painting gear on, and I've got my mask for my spray painting. Again, if you're not using spray paint, absolutely fine. If you're using paint, that's good to go as well. So again, over the past couple of days, Manchester's Finest and myself have been asking people to suggest things for me to paint that I'm going to include in a piece on the wall. I'm just going to get some water. Excusez-moi. Okay. So yeah, the suggestions. We've had loads. Thank you so much to everybody shouting up and uh, giving us ideas. Um, again, I like drawing faces, so I'm going to do a big happy guy that's based that's going to include different aspects of the suggestions that people have said. Um, so yeah, we have the words so far, healing, world, narwhal, otter, uh, Manchester skyline, things I'm going to miss, my home, I've got a horse, uh, friends, um, we've got trees, I'm going to miss trees and humans, although luckily I'm in my garden so I get to see trees. So trees and humans are going to be involved, we've got a sunflower, uh, what else have we got? Loads of different suggestions, so thank you to everyone who, who suggested. Um, sorry if your suggestion doesn't go into this one specifically. There is always next week, I'll get to that in a minute. Um, so let's get painting. So first off, I think I'm going to draw or paint a sunflower. And I'm going to draw the world as well, because we've got to rep those things. So sunflower for summer and the world, because we've got to support each other two seconds. So mask on. A sunflower. It might be a really simple version of a sunflower. Obviously, this is the first layer. So just a green leaf. And a nice yellow flower. Next up, the world. Okay. Again, super simple. There's a very simple world. Okay, next. Uh, so what was the next one? Narwhal. So we've got a narwhal. Um, okay, so narwhal is a, uh, a big um, kind of seal-like creature with a massive kind of unicorn almost horn on it. Um, I'm going to take one aspect of that. I might draw a little narwhal as well, why not? Um, I'm going to use the horn though. So I'm going to put a big horn. I'm just going to do the horn so it's like the symbol of it. Uh, and we're going to do that in bright pink, why not? Cap on the pink. Get them going, lovely. Mask on.
a simple narwhal horn. There we go. Okay. So next, what was the next one? Messed them up a little bit there, it doesn't matter. Okay, next one, we have the Manchester Skyline. Okay, so how are we going to do that? I'm going to do the skyline arching over the world and the sunflower. So we've got like a nice um, representation of Manchester on there as well. Choose a good pen. Okay. Again, nothing too serious. These are just the kind of shapes um, that I've seen around Manchester. What else we got? We got the library, haven't we? Again, we're just looking at the silhouettes of those shapes, not being too precious about it, and just kind of letting the stuff happen as it happens. What else we got? CIS building, I guess, yep. And then, what else? Should we do the wheel? I know it's a bit old school, let's do the wheel. And then, why not? Just a big heart. Oh, we just got another suggestion as well. Um, so that was a Manchester bee going over the rainbow. I like that idea a lot. I think we could turn this into a rainbow pretty simply. Let's do a little pot of gold at the end. There we go. Put a big yellow in there just to start that off as well. Again, I don't mind if it's muddying a little bit. Okay, and then what else? We've got some trees and we've got some humans as well. So let's put some trees in. Let's have a little think where we can do some trees. Trees can go in within the skyline, I reckon. So we've got this kind of, the idea of uh, trees and the city. So it's guys, two seconds. Okay, so some more trees. Nothing too serious at all. There's some more trees near the world there. Okay, we'll bring them in in a second. Again, as I'm painting a face, uh, he needs a nose and a mouth. So um, I'm just going to Something's kind of forming here a little bit with the two sheeps, okay? So we're gonna go down that. Um, so let's do a big bright blue nose. In fact, we'll go orange nose. Again, when I'm spray painting, always got the mask on, right? Horrible stuff, this. So there's nose. There we go. You might be able to see the face starting to cry a little bit now. Just fill that nose, fill that nose in. Sorry about that. Okay, so we need some mouth as well. Um, we need some purple in there, I think. So nice big purple mouth. Again, not being too precious about the lines I've already done. So I'll just go straight over these.
Again, if you see your suggestion come up, please take a photo of it as I'm painting. Give us a shout out. So yeah, so we've got like a nose, we've got a mouth, we've got the world, we've got a sunflower, we have a narwhal horn, we also have the Manchester City skyline, we have a rainbow being made here, and we've got trees in the skyline as well. So let's put a bit more definition in him. We also need to make sure that we've got the B. Uh, let's do the B coming out of the world maybe, or in fact over the rainbow. I know I'm not gonna be using the correct rainbow colors, Again, this is non-technical drawing. Just about getting that creativity out there. Got about 15 minutes left, guys. So let's use that. Be creative in that time. Nothing too clever, there we go. Okay, then we need to do a B because he's got to go on there, hasn't he? Big B. And then he's got wings. Not the best B ever, but he's a B. There's a B. There we go. Or if you want an easier way of drawing a B. There we go, buzzing around. Screen three is buzzing me, there we go. Okay, so what else do we need? We need a, a face shape, so let's get a face shape in there as well. Went a bit weird that one, did it? A little bit more definition. Wow, that head's a bit strange, isn't it? Again, it really doesn't matter. It looks super strange though. <laughs> I'll go over the B in a sec. Okay, basic face guy. And then we're gonna start putting some black details in. So we're gonna finish up this guy, finish up the world. Finish up some heads, there we are. So we've got a sunflower. And we've got the world. Then we're gonna just start putting his nose and mouth details in, finish the narwhal off.
get some mascara back in. Okay, so that's me mask off. Thank you very much. Okay, again, I know this isn't a technical drawing at all. And oh, my glasses are still seamed up, I do apologize. I realize this isn't a technical drawing whatsoever. Um, that's not what we're about today, or certainly within the person sessions for Paint With Pete. All about thinking creatively and being creative. Just to keep your mind going, keep your heart and your head pumping, and keep these guys nice and warm as well, and washed, obviously. Um, so today, all we did was some doodles. Uh, we created some colourful shapes, put some faces in them. We then drew an NHS heart in three different blues. So I drew a heart outline and then all I did was fill it with heart. Very easy. And then, very simple and easy and effective way of switching that head up, getting creative. And then, this guy was a collaboration between me, the amazing Manchester's Finest audience and Manchester's Finest themselves, so we asked for some suggestions on what I could include in my drawing. Um, the suggestions were healing, world, um, narwhal, things I'd miss, the Manchester skyline. What else we got? A sunflower and a bee going over the rainbow. Again, thank you for your suggestions. I love it. I love this interaction. I love a bit of a challenge. I also love painting. So being able to put your ideas into my artwork is absolutely amazing. So we have the sunflower. Just here as well. We have the narwhal horn. So I took an aspect of the narwhal, which is the horn. So he's a unicorn sort of thing as well. We've got the Manchester skyline, very, very roughly drawn, but still he's here. We also have the world and healing, the idea of the heart healing the world. The things I would miss, trees and human beings. So trees represented by these little green dots. They're, they're trees. And obviously he is a human face. There are two eyes, a nose and a mouth. That is a human face. So, that is my drawing and my live painting. Uh, please follow us. My name is Pete Obsolete on Obsolete Formats and Obsolete Art Manchester. Please follow Manchester's Finest if you're not already. Good work. Thank you. And also, can you follow um, Overdrawn as well? So I run an art night called Overdrawn, all about getting, the, getting adults back into the, uh, the kids' mindset of just drawing and just, again, doing what we're doing here. Being creative, not caring too much about the line, just getting it out there. That's Overdrawn. You might see a couple of collabs coming out between myself and Overdrawn and Manchester's Finest. Uh, I think this will be a, a weekly show. 
So please stay with us. Leave me any comments you want on the, uh, on the video. Tell me how I'm doing. Tell me if you saw your image on there. And again, please, please, please tag Pete Obsolete and Manchester's Finest in any pictures of your monsters, of your doodles, of the painting we've done today, but specifically of the NHS heart. Please, I want to see some blue hearts out there. Again, nice little idea for a gift if you've got anyone in the family or in your proximity, the neighbors, etc. Give them your heart, spread some love. And I think we're coming to the end of that video now. Let me just check. Two more minutes. So let's use that time. Again, if you're feeling a little bit like it's getting on top of you and the news is a little bit much and everything's getting a little bit kind of too angsty. Super simple, like everything in life. Drink some water, eat some fruit, get some food, read a book, write a poem, anything you like. Watch some videos online for your stretching and exercising. Again, if you want to see what I've been up to for the past couple of days, I've just been painting. I've just invited everyone into my studio at home, set my canvases up and started painting. That's all, I'm, that's all I want to do. It makes me feel calmer, makes me get back to that kind of sane, uh, the realization that I am sane and that outside, it can be, anything can be happening outside. If you're drawing or painting or being creative, that's a, a really nice, natural, organic distraction from what's going outside. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for staying in, locking in with us and rolling with me. Again, show us your artwork. I, I love seeing people's artwork. It's one of the reasons why I started my art night or certainly worked with Overdrawn as well. Um, I love seeing audience artwork. So please, if you're creative, if you're non-creative, it doesn't matter. It's just all about being creative. If you stack your washing up neatly, that's creative, all right? Use those little ideas, use that as a fuel to kind of give yourself that five, 10 minutes that you need. And again, stay away from the news. Try and stay off your phone a little bit. Write a song, write a poem, draw something. All about getting creative and using this time that we've got in this amazing world to celebrate that and be creative. Thank you to Manchester's Finest for looking after me today. My name is Pete Obsolete. I think that is time. I think that's exactly time. <laughs> Have a good day, everybody. Peace and love.